What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another video of mine. My name is Willie Namar. For those of you who don't know, I'm an upcoming YouTuber here in Arizona. Now, I'm out here sort of in the public. I'm in the parking lots. I'm here with Bay again. She was kind of nervous when I posted the video. She was kind of like happy that she got all of the love. And I was like, it's cool. If you don't want me to post you again, she's like, nah, you got to post me. If not, I'm going to. I was like, all right, Bay, Bay, I'll post you. Here she is again. There's Bay. She's kind of acting up right now. She don't want to talk today. It's all good though. Today's video is going to be about me going to the gym right now. But today is actually my first day of the week coming back to the gym. And I might take you with me, might not. I might show you a little bit, might not. Like I said in the previous video, definitely like this video and subscribe if you genuinely want to. And if you don't, that's still completely fine. Thank you for watching the video. I did mention something about addiction in the previous video. Now, I might say it in this video. That's why you gotta stay tuned and watch the whole video. There's some people walking by, like getting off their cars to the gym. I'm kind of a little bit, a little bit uh, shy. Look at the views. And as you can tell by each video, you're gonna get to know a little bit about me, a little bit about who I am as a person. But little by little, you're gonna know the details of me. Pretty much, you're gonna get to know me a little bit more, like in a personal level. I'm gonna try to do my best to entertain, keep you guys um, laughing, keep you guys posted about certain things in my life you know obviously that's part of youtube you know you gotta be out there in a way here's my gym bag I'm about to put my headphones on put you right here real quick use from the six. Oh, hold on give me a second honestly don't know where this video is taking me but to be honest with you i recorded like this whole week each day but i was like damn these videos i'm not liking them at all so i'm like you know what i'm just gonna say F it, it's just like free for all it like just record whatever comes out you know but look at this oh my god look at the sky it's like pink right there fresh out the ocean fresh out the shower before i get started to the topic of this video addiction this saturday september 24th between 12 p.m and 7 p.m i'm gonna be vending with my brother at SneakerCon. as you can tell we have a variety of shoes and a variety of vintage shirts if you don't know what sneaker con is is an event where a lot of sneaker heads and a lot of people go that that are into shoes they either sell their shoes trade in their shoes or just show up because they love the environment of just shoes in general that day i'm gonna be filming and i'm gonna be helping out my brother vend definitely stop by come say hi to us you definitely do not have to buy anything just by you showing up or you saying hi we'll definitely appreciate it i look forward to meeting some of you guys the wifey is gonna be there so if you want to meet the wifey definitely stop by in um she's she's more than happy to meet all of you guys now let's get into the, the topic addiction don't mind me i'm in my pajamas between 16 and 17 years old while well, i was overweight right some of you may know this story where i used to be overweight i used to weigh like 245 pounds this was like ooh. I would say like during my in my sophomore freshman year from within a day i thought in my head i'm like nope i don't want to be like this and next you know i put in the work and next you know i saw change but within those transitions that i was doing like with me changing my my habit my diets my training and like things that i was doing i used to drink a certain product and the certain product was bang and celsius during that time like yes it gave me energy i felt it but then as time went on i didn't feel any like jittery i didn't feel anything in my system because i was so used to it the last time that i drank this product i think it was was roughly six months ago which is recently and as time went on i was like nope i need to stop drinking this because why one it's taking a lot of my money second it's like doing really bad for my health in the long run yes i may not see an effect right now but in the long run it's gonna affect me really bad i never really thought about it because oh it's healthy they promote it as healthy it has no sugar it has nothing at all and so i was like okay that's a good advertisement like i'm looking at the numbers like the macros like sugar fat and like how much carbohydrates does I have, et cetera, et cetera. Then as time went on, um, I saw this certain app that it was on, on the Apple store. It's called uh, YG or something like that. I'll post it up here if I if I can find a picture really quick. If not, I'll just uh, give you guys all the info in the description. Uh, keep in mind that this is not a promo video. This is not, I'm not getting paid at all. So keep that in mind. It was banging sauces that I used to drink. And I recommend if you do drink it, look, I'm not telling you what to do. I'm not telling you to listen to me or if not this or that. I'm not a nutritionist. I'm not a doctor. It's just me speaking my, my experience. Um, that's why I'm like, I'm in this YouTube game, you know, um, because I definitely want to put knowledge out there to the people. I want to let people know that a lot of things that I've been through that can help out many people in the long run too, you know? But yeah, back to the story. And within this app, I saw what the ingredients were on the drinks. And so I didn't think anything of it because I was like, no, this drink is healthy because they're promoting it as healthy and it doesn't have any sugar and like it's really good for me i 
but then it turns out that the drinks are not even healthy. Yes, I did my research on Google. Google does say that it's healthier alternative than like the Red Bulls and Monsters, but I never got into those because those were pretty high in sugar. You know how the drink would have the barcode here? I would scan it when I performed the barcode and then I saw the ingredients. I wasn't too familiar with the ingredients, but at the same time, I was like, okay, I remember this because I used to work at like a vitamin store. And next, you know, I was like, oh damn, those are like really bad ingredients for you. And I was like, no, but I gotta stay, I gotta stay off of these. And so when I had seen those ingredients, I stopped drinking them for like a week. It was really hard for me like mentally to stop drinking them because I was like kind of addicted to like the drink and the taste and all that good stuff because I would usually get them like before the gym or if I was doing something, I would drink them. It definitely affects you in the long run. That's the addiction that I was talking about. If you do drink Celsius, I would recommend to highly, highly, highly stay off of them because it's gonna do you bad in the long run. Same with coffee from Starbucks, same with coffee in general. Anything that gives you pump, anything that gives you caffeine, anything that, that gives you that energy. So I wanted to put it out there because a lot of people are like, like I see a lot of people drinking those drinks. I'm like, damn, like, I used to drink those and I'm like, damn, I wish I can just tell them to stop drinking it. But you know how the world is right now? You tell somebody something, they'll go all off on you just by saying something like positive to them, you know? I hope you guys take this in a positive way, not in a, ne not in a negative way. I'm truly like trying to help you guys out over there. So I, I'm clean off of it. I would highly recommend staying off of them. But during the transition of me um, staying away from them, I did have like a headache. I did have like stomach aches. I did, feel, I did feel a little bit different because I didn't have that in my system. And obviously the same thing goes for food. Oh man, like the food is a different story. Uh, like I mentioned, I'm not nutritious. I'm not a doctor. This video is not sponsored, but I am going to talk about the food like long in the long run. That video, I want to make it in like more in depth and actually show you more examples. Uh, yeah, I have so many stories to count that I'm like, damn, I can't believe I did this. Damn, I can't believe this happened. Damn, I can't believe I went through this and I'm over here like blessed, you know? But yeah, like everything, todo su tiempo, you know? Uh, for the people that speak Spanish, todo su tiempo is like, for the people that speak English, I should say, means like everything everything at its time, you know? If you drink bang Celsius, definitely stay off of them. Anything with caffeine, stay off of them. You might not think that nothing's happening to you right now because you're either young or because you've been drinking them for years. But when you're like 50 years old, when you're six years old, you're gonna be going to the doctor, you're gonna be going to the hospitals um, because of like, because of that certain product. And I'm not bashing on like those, just those two products. And if Bang and Celsius are watching me right now, it was all good. Like I don't drink you guys' products no more. You guys don't gotta sponsor me. I remember one time I wanted Celsius to sponsor me, but I was like, nah, I'm not gonna, I don't want them to sponsor me no more. And that's why like I try to maintain my health. I try to eat healthy. And a lot of things that you think may be healthy or because there's thousands of people promoting it on like social media does not mean that it's healthy. Don't get fooled by social media. Don't get fooled by people telling you something like, yes, you might think that, oh, like you're telling me something shouldn't, shouldn't, aren't you trying to fool me? No, because like I'm speaking the truth, you know? And like I said, I'm not doing this YouTube thing for just cause I'm doing it because I truly want to help out like the, the world some way somehow but i really hope that i make sense of the video um i never talked like this in front of the camera like just straight obviously i have before but it's been quite some time that i'm still nervous talking in front of the camera probably when i do a vlog like when someone records me third person and me going out in the public or me doing like a day in the life i'm gonna show you the specific app and how to use it i'm gonna show you the specific products that i was just literally talking about right now what i mean by that and um specific foods what i do with my family is i let them know like even though we're like we're we're hispanic family i let them know like hey don't be eating this and i and i'm obviously sometimes like you know no hook on nails like i kind of like get bothered with them or like i get mad because they know that they're eating something bad at the same time they're eating it, which doesn't make sense to me. But you know, sometimes I be eating it too, you know? So it's like me being like a like a hypocrite in a way, but I'm like, nah, I can't do that. Like if I'm gonna say something, if I'm gonna put a word out, like that comes out of my mouth, I gotta stick to it, you know? But yeah, that's, that's the story of my addiction. But honestly, if you're young, if you're in your 20s, if you're in your 30s, you may think that you're in a good pace, but in the long run, it can do you really bad because the sugar, the chemicals that it has. I guess I have no idea how many food that we eat that I've eaten before that has a lot of chemicals. I'm like, 
wow, no wonder I feel bloated. It's because of the food that we consume. Please do keep in mind, this video is not to bash anybody. Uh, it's just to be very informative to somebody. And also keep in mind that this is my experience, my knowledge, and the things that I know about certain things that I want to put out there. And obviously, if you want to take this video as an advice and be like, okay, cool. I learned something new. I'm not going to do this anymore. That's fine. If you don't, that's also fine. But keep in mind that all I'm trying to do is just speak facts to uh, anybody that I speak to. If I do sound rusty, it's because I was really excited to speak about this. This YouTube thing that like always excites me. And anytime I got to pick up the camera or even talk, even though I may be nervous, I'm kind of, I'm always excited for it. It's funny because back in high school, I used to be like a shy person. I never used to want to talk to, I want to say nobody, but I never really wanted to talk to I just was kind of shy at times, you know, but I didn't really want to show it. But if you went through my high school with me, you know, like situations where I've been through. Honestly, I'm not going to lie to you. I've come a long way. And that's the reason that I'm able to tell these stories. I'm able to talk about certain things, certain topics, because I've been through them. A lot of people are afraid to be canceled. A lot of people are afraid to speak up. And this is just me speaking up, not being afraid to speak up about certain things. And if you want to cancel me for saying something that you didn't like, that's fine with me, you know. See me this Saturday at SneakerCon with my brother. If you're watching this right now, I'm currently over there vending uh, because this video is going to be posted on Saturday. That's going to conclude this video. Stay tuned for the next one, which is going to be the sneaker con vlog. It's going to be me vlogging my brother and me vlogging myself through the time we wake up, through the time the event ends. And then from there, expect another vlog. And then from there, expect probably like a public prank, probably me possibly interviewing the public or something along those lines, you know? But I got a secret for you. If you made it at the end of this video, and if you pull up to sneaker con, at the Phoenix Convention Center here in Arizona between 12 p.m. to 7 p.m. Um, and if you stop by my brother's booth and if you see me filming and if you mention yeah. Fuck with the kid though, stop with the mid though Glock, let it hang out, gang with the pop out Pop, 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 pop. Clear your name out, love flows